Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Countdown to Doomsday. Yeah, it's just not going to be as much fun when I get to when it's time to say Matrix Cubed. It just doesn't have the same oomph to it, does it? Well, the door to the storeroom has been trampled to the ground. Acid frogs ate the swamp hornets that once infested the storeroom. <clears throat> All the supplies in the storeroom in the room are coated with acid slime from the frogs. In the back, you find a tin filled with credits and a few demo charges. Oh, 1,000 credits, that's more than I ever get from any uh, uh, combat. And demo charges. Because apparently I use up so many. The acid frogs stare at your bag of frog food and goggle their eyes, hopefully. Will you give the food to the frogs? Sure. Why not? The acid frogs gobble the food. From now on, one or two of them will be following you around, hoping for more. Well, okay, I guess. A ram hit team spots you and attacks. Well, that's a pretty neat image. Kind of surprised that they uh, used that rather than one of the standard uh, Jenny icons. Pictures. And acid frogs come to my aid. Oh, oh, this is a new enemy. And they have Martian laser rifles. The Ram Assassins. Oh, did I forget to equip my. Oh, I forgot to equip my. I keep forgetting to do that. Okay. Well, in that case. Let us try something. Yeah, you didn't go astray. Don't. Well, the good news is I'll be getting some chaff grenades out of this. Good, 13 points of damage. Nice. Ow, ow. I guess it's not that bad. And a chaff grenade. At least now they can't throw now he can't throw grenades at me. Okay, get on to the laser pistol. Way to go. There we go. And that one's wounded. Okay, uh, the explosive grenades will go off if I throw them in immediately if I throw them into the uh, uh, chaff. So let's get back onto the uh, laser rifle. Ooh, Ooh Leander's going to die soon. I think I will take those Martian laser rifles, though, just because uh, I'm pretty sure they sell for a heck of a lot more than uh, um, even the armor does. Although I don't know for sure. Don't. 
Lay under take them out. Yay. Oh, and you get another attack. Good. Good, lots of healing. Although Leander is still really hurt. Um, let's see how many credits I got from that. Still not much. Yeah, the only way to make money in this game is to like. Uh, sorry, I blanked for a second. Uh, is to take equipment, which is kind of ridiculous. I'll, have, I'll take the chaff grenades. Oh, Martian mono knives too. Um. All right, let's take a Martian mono knife and uh, Martian laser rifle. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a grenade launcher too. Okay. Let's take the uh, Martian laser rifles. And the Martian mono knives. And if they don't sell for much at all, then uh, I'll know, at least. And I can ignore them from now on. From then on. Okay. Uh, Alright, let's keep wandering around a little bit. Something can happen in these uh, little buildings. Two lowlanders are preparing to sneak out of town. They urge you to meet them in the northeast corner. Lowlander infant lies dead in its cradle. Ram spares no one. Bastards. The owners of this tiny hut lie dead on the floor. This tiny hut is empty. In small letters on one wall, someone has scratched... Oh, northeast corner. This scene is too gruesome to, to describe. Ram has been quite thorough. Lowlander corpses are sprawled all over this area. The lowlanders in this hut died, but they took four ram assassins with them. Sweet! Way to go! Oh. Okay. Plasma thrower again. Oh well. Oh crap. No, I didn't lead him. Shucks. And unfortunately, I cannot throw a grenade at them this turn, either. Ow. Oh, nice. Ooh, at least 
really taken a beating. Oh, stop missing. Good, lots of healing. Uh, I don't think it. I don't think we got it as healed as I would have liked, though. Okay. Well, um, was it Ellen retaking? Uh, yes, yeah, she was. I'll have her take chaff grenades as well. Take more laser rifles. And mono knives if I can hold them. Okay. You see a group of lowlanders preparing to climb over the wall. They're carrying a wounded female. You assure their leader that you mean no harm. Please help us, she says. I need my medical kit to save this poor woman. But key to the medical supply closet was taken by a ram officer. I see you have the keys. Please bring the kit from the supply closet. Go to the big hut on the west side of town. She lowers her voice. The security code is 683. Take these. She gives you a weapon and some armor. Ooh. Ooh, Venusian heavy body armor. Yeah, yeah, of course, overloaded. Um, yeah, screw the microwave gun. Actually, as long as I'm here on the screen, let's get my stuff equipped. Grenade launcher, laser rifle, explosive grenade, mini explosive grenades. Let's drop some of these. Let me take the Venusian heavy body armor and the pole arm. See how much damage the pole arm does. 1d10 plus 4. Oh, not too bad. And let's see, heavy body armor, Venusian heavy body armor, negative 4. Oh, that's nice. And grenade launcher is equipped, so let's go down and find the mini explosive grenades. There we go. You hear crying from the large house to the south. Okay, well, so, oh, great. All right, let me actually pause it while I take care of this uh, uh, random encounter. Okay, took care of that. Got some more mini explosive grenades. I love fighting those Venusian combat jennies. Please bring me more. That's all I can say. Okay. This is the largest hut in town. It appears relatively undamaged. You hear crying from within. You find a metal ladder leading into a basement. You hear crying from below. Go down the ladder? Yes, I will. A tiny lowlander stops crying when you find its hiding place and begins babbling in a language you don't under you don't recognize. Leander listens patiently, then translates. He wants us to help him find his father. Will you take the baby lowlander into your team? Sure. Oh my lord! The baby has a laser- oh wait, no, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong character. It does damage 1d2 minus 2. Wow. He's a rogue. Level 1. 12 experience points. 
1d2 minus 2, which means he does no damage. Strength 3, Dexterity 9, Constitution 6, Intelligence 9, Wisdom 3, Tech 3, Charisma 14. Wow, he has no general skills. Okay, I need to find some armor for him. Um, who? Ah, Min took that. Alright, trade. I wonder what that's going to do to his movement and stuff. Uh, his movement is 5. His encumbrance is 35. Uh, I bet if I give him a weapon, he's not going to be able to carry it. Oh, he can! Well, this movement is now 10. Okay. Oh. Interesting. So, equipping the heavy body armor eliminates its encumbrance. That's pretty cool, actually. But, uh... At least now he has an AC of two. <laughs> oh, I have a baby in my party. This is awesome. I'm serious. This is freaking awesome. It's probably going to get so totally trashed, too. Hit team spots you and attacks. Yay, I led Zane. Oh, look, he's so cute. What the heck happened there? Well, I think that's called a um, screwed up tile. Yep. That's a screwed up tile. Oh, no um, Venusian combat jennies. Okay, well. Let us nuke them. Didn't do a whole lot of damage, unfortunately. Yeah, those didn't do much damage either. Oh, don't miss. And there's chapter. Okay, well, time to get off the grenades and back onto the laser rifles. Actually, you know what? Move them way back. Of course, they've got laser rifles, so uh, still means they could attack them, but uh, oh, nice. It's better to uh, just, you know, get them off the. Uh, um, get him out of the way kind of thing. There's my monosword. Yep, get off the explosive grenades. To re equip her with something. Oh, took 
two hits. Chaff grenades. Let's give Zane some uh, protective goggles and a mono knife. And actually, I think I'll give this uh, pistol to. Nah. Give someone else's pistol. He's fine with his uh, just regular pistol. Okay, let's get back on to the uh, grenade launcher and mini explosive grenades. Okay. Laser burns mar the walls of this hut. And let me actually end the video here. We'll pick it up in the next episode.